फोर्टीन सेप्टेम्बर टू मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बैप्तादा मधुपन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन कीप अ ट्रू चार्ट एंड योर स्टेज विल रिमीन गुड बाय कीपिंग योर चार्ट यू विल कंटिन्यू बेनिफिट क्वेश्चन वॉट अवेयरनेस हेल्प्स यू टू स्टेप अवे ईजिली फ्रॉम द ओल्ड वर्ल्ड आंसर इफ यू हैव द अवेयरनेस दैट यू क्लेम योर अनलिमिटेड इनहेरिटेंस फ्रॉम द फादर एवरी साइकिल दैट यू हैव नाउ टेकन शुबाबास लैब वंस अगेन इन ऑर्डर फॉर यू टू क्लेम योर इनहेरिटेंस बाबा हैज अडोप्टेड यू सो यू बिकेम ट्रू ब्राह्मण्स एंड श्री बाबा स्पिक्स द गीता टू यू दिस अवेयरनेस विल हेल्प यू स्टेप अवे फ्रॉम द ओल्ड वर्ल्ड ओम शांति यू चिल्ड्रन आर सेटिंग हियर एंड रिमेंबरेंस ऑफ श्री बाबा एंड यू नो दैट ही इज वंस अगेन मेकिंग यू एंड द मास्टर्स ऑफ द लैंड ऑफ हैप्पीनेस यू चिल्ड्रन शुड हैव सो मच हैप्पीनेस इन योर इंटेलेक्ट अबाउट receiving such treasures while sitting here this matters are not in the intellects of those in other colleges and universities only you know that baba is making us into the masters of heaven you should have this happiness at this time you must only remember the one father and remove all other thoughts when you children sit here your intellect should have the intoxication that you are now becoming the masters of the land of happiness you claim the inheritance of peace and happiness every cycle people don't know anything in the previous cycle as well as many human beings were destroyed while asleep in the darkness of ignorance and the slip of kumbhakarna the same thing will happen again Your children understand that the father who is establishing the original eternal deity religion has adopted you. We are now Brahmins. We are listening to the true episode of the Gita. We are once again claiming our inheritance from Baba through Raj Yoga and the power of knowledge. You should have such thoughts within you. The father comes and tells you things of happiness. He knows that the children have been burned and became ugly by sitting on the pyre of lust. This is why I come from the land of immortality into the land of death. You say that you are once again going from the land of death to the land of immortality. The father says, "I come to the land of death where everyone has died. I have once again taken them to the land of immortality." look what they have written in the scriptures he is the almighty authority the one with all powers he can do whatever he wants your children know that they call out to him oh purify baba come and purify us take us away our sorrow and give us happiness there is no question of magic in this the father comes to change you from thorns and flowers You know that we were deities in the land of happiness. We were Sato Pradhan. Everyone has to become Tama Pradhan from Sato Pradhan. While sitting here, your children should have even greater pleasure. You should have remembrance. The whole world remembers the Father. O oh, Liberator, O oh, Guide, O oh, Purifier, come. They call him when they are in Ravan's kingdom. No one in the golden age will call him. These things are very easy to understand. Who told you all of this? The sing praise of the father, the teacher and the sadguru. All three are one. It is in your intellect that he is the father, the teacher and the sadguru. Shri Baba's business is to make the impure pure. Impure ones definitely experience sorrow. those who are satapradhan are happy whereas those who are tamapradhan are unhappy deities have such satoguni natures here human beings have iron age tamaguni natures however human beings are good or bad number wise in the golden age 
no one would ever say this one is bad this one is like that no one there has a bad character they are the dt community yes they can be wealthy or poor but there can be no comparison of good and bad virtues everyone remains happy and there is no question of sorrow the very neen is the land of happiness therefore you children should make effort to claim your full inheritance from the father you can also keep your own picture and a picture of lakshmi and narayan with you people will say that there must be someone teaching them these are the virtues of god are they not god doesn't have a body of his own he comes and takes this one on loan the lucky child means bhagirath has been remembered and so he must definitely be in a chariot he would not ride a bull they have made shiv and shankar into one that is why they have shown a bull as his vehicle the father says you should remain so happy that you now belong to the father the father also says you are mine the father doesn't have any of the happiness of claiming a status a teacher is a teacher and he just has to teach the father says o oh, children i am the ocean of happiness since i have adopted you you should now experience super sensuous joy there are many different types of adoption a man adopts a woman to be his wife she understands that he is her husband you now understand that shubhaba has adopted you people in the world don't understand those things that adoption is for using the sword of lust on one another for instance when a king adopts a child he does that for happiness however that is temporary happiness sanyasis also adopt others people would say this one is our guru and the guru would say they are my followers there are so many types of adoption a father adopts children and gives them happiness then after getting them married it is as though he gives an inheritance of sorrow thus adoption by the guru is first class thus adoption by god is in order to make souls belong to him ye children have now seen all types of adoption even though sanyasis exist people continue to sing oh purifier come come and adopt us and purify us all our brothers however this is only when he comes and makes you belong to him you see baba we are now experiencing sorrow they don't understand the meaning of the kingdom of ravan they continue to make an fg of ravan and burn it when someone makes others suffer they think that they should bring a case against him however when did ravan became your enemy will this enemy ultimately die or not only you know this enemy you are adopted in order to conquer him only you children know that destruction has to take place atomic bombs have also been created the flames of destruction emerge from this sacrificial fire of knowledge you now know that you will conquer ravan and then rule the new world everything else is playing with the dolls the doll of ravan makes you incur a lot of expense people waste a lot of money unnecessarily there is the difference of day and night they wander around and become unhappy they continue to stumble around everywhere whereas we are now claiming our elevated golden age self sovereignty by following shrimat most elevated shubhaba who establishes the golden age is making us into the masters of the world the most elevated deities shri shri shubhaba is making us shri means elevated only the one is referred to as shri shri means doubly elevated 
deities are called Shri because they take rebirth. In fact, even the kings who enlarge in vice cannot be called Shri. Your intellect should now be so unlimited. You know that you will become double crowned through the study. You were double crowned and you now don't even have a single crown. You are impure. No one here can be given a crown of light. In these pictures where you are shown sitting in tapasya, you cannot be shown with a crown of light. You have to become double crown in the future. Your children know that you have come to Baba to become double crown emperors and empresses. You should have this happiness. You should remember Shibaba so that you became pure from impure and the masters of heaven. There is no question of difficulty in this. You are sitting here as students. When you go outside to your friends and relatives, you forget your student life because you remember your friends and relatives. There is the force of Maya. When you stay in a hostel, you are able to study well. When you come and go, you become spoiled by the influence of company. When you leave here and go outside, your intoxication of your student life disappears. Even the teachers who teach outside don't have as much intoxication outside as they do here. This is the head office Madhuban. Students are in front of the teacher and there is no mundane business. There is the difference of day and night. Some don't even remember Shibaba throughout the whole day. They don't become Shibaba's helpers. You have become Shibaba's children. Therefore, do service. If you don't do service, it means you are unworthy. The father understands this. However, it is his duty to tell you to remember him. Follow me and there will be a lot of benefit. Relationships based on a vice are corrupt. Therefore, continue to renounce them. Don't keep their company. The father explains to you, but it should also be in your fortune. Baba says, keep your chart. You will benefit a lot by doing that. Some hardly stay in remembrance for even an hour. You have to reach the stage of having eight hours remembrance by the end. You are karma yogis. Some of you have enthusiasm sometimes and so you keep a chart. That is good. The more you remember the father, the more benefit there is for you. It is remembered that those who remember God in their final moments will receive a good birth. What does this mean? Those who don't remember me well will receive punishment through visions at the end. It is because of their burden of sin of many births. They have been made to take many births and so are given visions again and again. For example, when they sacrifice themselves at Kashi, they straight away have a vision of their sins. They experience receiving punishment for the sins they have committed. There are those who experience a lot of punishment. Those who create obstacles to Bhavad service deserve punishment. They cause problems for the father's service. His right hand is Dharam Raj. The father says make a promise to yourselves because it is only by having remembrance of the father that you will become pure. Otherwise you won't. The father inspires you to make a promise. However, it is up to you whether you do it or not. Those who do something will receive the return of it. There are many who make a promise and then continue to perform bad actions. People on the path of devotion continue to sing, mine is one and none other. However, it is now in your intellects why souls have been singing thus. They continue to sing throughout the day. Mine is only one, Giridhar Gopal, means another name for Krishna. It is only when the father comes at the confluence age that he can take you back home with him.
you are studying in order to go to the land of krishna there is a college for prince and princesses to study in that is a limited matter the men's prince and princess may fall ill or even die thus is the godfather university for becoming prince and princess this is the study of raj yoga you are becoming narayan from an ordinary man you claim your inheritance from the father and became prince and princess of the golden age the father sits here and tells you such a pleasurable things you should remember them some became trapped as soon as they leave here you remember the father number wise those who remember him more will also inspire others to remember him it should remain in your intellects how you can benefit many as you make further progress you will have visions of everything and feel that you truly didn't make full effort you will see many miracles those who study well will become lords and masters the father continues to tell you so much i give an exhibition set to the center so that the children can be taught and made clever baba will then understand that bkes know how to do service when you do service you will claim a high status this is why baba emphasizes making exhibition sets it is a very common thing just to make the pictures remain courageous and help make the pictures for the exhibition and it will become easy for children to explain baba understands that the teachers the managers are a little slack some teachers became managers and then became body conscious they consider themselves to be so clever i am moving along very well if you ask others about any of them they would tell you 10 things about that person maya puts you in a great scene your children should remain engaged in doing service and more service the father is the merciful one the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness so your children should also become that simply give the father's introduction the father says constantly remember me alone and you will become residents of heaven from residents of hell this is so easy the father says remember me and you will become pure from impure and go to the land of peace and the land of happiness when they have faith you should immediately get them to write this down some even write that the brahma kumars and kumaris are truly claiming their inheritance from shubhaba therefore they should understand that they definitely have to belong to such a father they should take refuge with him you have come here to seek refuge with the father that is you have come into his lap acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father babdada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point become merciful a remover of sorrow and bestower of happiness like the father second point remain very cautious about the influence of bad company second point follow the one father alone do service that will benefit many others never become arrogant and thereby consider yourselves to be very clever blessing may you constantly wear your crown of light and have all your activities carried out with signals from your thoughts explanation the children who remain constantly light can never waste their thoughts or time they only have thoughts that are going to 
happen practically. Just as you clarify something by speaking about it in the same way all their activities are carried out by their thoughts. When you adopt this method, the corporeal world will become the subtle region. For this, accumulate the power of silence and constantly wear your crown of light. Slogan Step away from this land of sorrow and waves of sorrow will never come to you. Om Shanti Shanti